In this American English pronunciation video, we're going to go over how to greet Americans. As some of you know, last time I was here in LA at the YouTube space, I made a video on introducing yourself to people. At the time, I didn't know anybody. Now I'm back again with all the same people, so they're all going to be in this video again saying, hey. First of all, let's listen to a bunch of different greetings. Says, hey. Hey, Anthony. What's up? Hey, Rachel. What's up, Rachel? Hey, Veronica. Hey. Morning, guys. Hello. Greetings. Hey, what's going on? Hey, man. What up? No. You probably noticed a lot of people said, hey. This is definitely the most common way to greet somebody in America. It's pretty casual, and I use it all the time with my friends. Hey. Hey. Notice the shape of the voice. There's a little curve up and then a curve down in the voice. Hey. 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 So basically, it's a stressed word. We start with the H consonant sound and go into the A as in say diphthong. Make sure you drop your jaw enough for the first half of that diphthong. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Hey, Veronica. Hey. Hey, Rachel. Hey. Hey. We also heard hi a few times. Again, it's stressed, so it has that shape of a stressed syllable, hi. Hi. It begins with the H consonant sound, and we have the I as in by diphthong. Again, make sure you drop your jaw enough for the first half of that diphthong. Hi. 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 Look at that jaw drop we have on the I as in by diphthong. We also heard hello. This is a two syllable word with stress on the second syllable. Da da. Hello. So it's that second syllable with the up-down shape of the voice. The first syllable will be pretty flat. He, he, he. It begins with the H consonant and has the E eh as in bed vowel. But this is very quick. He, he. Hello. The second syllable begins with the L consonant. So the tongue tip will come up here, ul, ul, and touch the roof of the mouth just behind the teeth. Hello. Then we have the O as in no diphthong. Drop your jaw for the first half of the sound and make sure you round your lips for the second half. Hello. 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 A little bit of lip rounding here for the second half of the O diphthong. You may have noticed some of the guys added man. Hey man. Hey man. It's okay to say this only to a man. But you may have noticed that I used the term guys for a bunch of girls. So guys is a little bit more gender neutral. Hey guys. Morning guys. Morning. Because I was filming in the morning, a lot of people said morning as their greeting. This is short for good morning. Simply morning. Morning. Now you could say afternoon or evening during those times, but it's not nearly as common. Morning. Morning, guys. Morning. Hey, morning, guys. Morning. Most greetings involve one of these greeting words, hey, hi, morning, and so on, and often a question. The appropriate way to respond is to answer the question and to ask the same question yourself. For example, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Let's take a look at a few of these exchanges. Stacy, Christina. Hey! Hey, Rach! Hey. How are you guys? Oh, it's good to see you. Yeah, you too. How have you been? Good, good. good. Hey, Scooter, what's up? What up? No. Hey, Max, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Hey, Jen. Hey, Frankie. Hey. How are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Not good. good. Not You're not good. good? I just broke my hand. Hey, what's going on? Not much. How are you? I'm just hanging out here. It's your birthday today. It is, actually. Happy birthday, Rachel. Thank you. Nope. How are you? Fabulous. As always. <laughs> hey, Aaron. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. How are you? We heard this two ways. Once with the word are stressed. How are you? How are you guys? How are you guys? How are you guys? How are you? But most of the time, you'll hear it with that word reduced. How are you? 
How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Great. How are you? Great. How are you? Great. How are you? How are you? So in that case, make sure it's really short. Er, er, er. How are? How are you? How are you? Da da da. How are you? Da da da. The most common response to this phrase is good. You might sometimes hear great. One person even said, "How are you?" Fabulous. <laughs> As always. <laughs> and unfortunately, one person said not good because her phone had just broken. Not You're not good. good. I just broke my phone. Another question we heard is, "How's it going?" So we're contracting how is, how's, how's. So just put a z sound there at the end of how. The next word begins with a vowel, so the z should link those two words together. How's it? How's it? How's it going? Notice the stop t at the end of it. We're not releasing it. How's it going? So just hold the air for a second and then release again. You can either end with the ng consonant, uh, or with the n consonant, n, going, going. It's a little more casual, but that's okay. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? It's going. How's it going? Dada dada. How's it going? Again, the answers here will be good, great, not bad, etc. What's up? This is answered just like what's going on. Usually nothing or not much, but you can say what you're doing in that moment. You can hear this as "what's up" with the ts reduction. We also heard it as "what's up" where the t was dropped altogether. "What's up?" And we even heard one person say "what up." So what was he doing here? He dropped the s sound, so now the t came between two vowel sounds. So it was a flap t sounding like a d. "What up?" What's up? What's up? What's up, Rachel? Hey, Bryce, say what's up. Oh, hey, Rachel, what's up? Hey, Scooter, what's up? What up? No. I hope this was helpful. The next time you see someone you know, don't be afraid to go up and start a conversation. A huge thanks to everybody who is in this video. Stacy and Christina both have awesome how-to channels. Stacy does knitting tutorials, and Christina paper crafts. Aaron makes awesome skateboarding videos. Anthony does music reviews. Don does children's music. Evan makes awesome drawing tutorials. What's up, Rachel's English? How y'all doing, people? This is Evan from your uh, channel Cartoon Block, showing kids how to do their thing and drawing and sketching and all that. Veronica has great travel videos on California. Rose and Iman both have great makeup and style channels. Fabulous. Cuban guy does sketch comedy. Sarah's crafting channel is awesome. Chris and Hila work on Hila cooking, a great cooking channel. Billy does awesome children's music with puppets. You met one of the puppets in one of my other videos. Bryce Lai mixes rap with video games on his channel. Jason does comedy sketches on his channel. Scooter has some great 100 lists on his comedy channel. Max No Sleeves never wears sleeves in his comedy channel. Miss Jen Fabulous has a nail channel where she did teach me a different way to paint my nails. And Pete is a video producer behind the scenes on several different YouTube channels. Yeah, what does that mean? What does do mean? Do is a urban term, which can mean though. However, you just add it for that emphasis on to the end of sentences. It's Pretty much anything? It's like an exclamation point almost. Can you say it again? What up, no. That's it, and thanks so much for using Rachel's English. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe. Either click here or in the description. But don't stop there. Keep learning with my American English and Real Life playlist, my Ben Franklin playlist, or my Word of the Week series. Click on me to check out my channel, where there are hundreds of great videos. Don't forget to visit my website, where you can learn about my premium membership and online courses.